To understand what the blueprinting workshop is, you have to understand that you probably have come through a very extensive sales cycle to evaluate multiple vendors. And by the time that you get to the point where you're talking to a project manager, they expect you to be ready to be able to tell them what your design needs to look like. And what we're finding is that most clients don't have a comprehensive understanding of what the application can even do. The blueprinting process was fantastic. Um, HRMS asked us a lot of questions. We spent, I think it was two and a half days together so they could really understand our business needs and what the requirements were gonna be for the system and where those challenges might occur. Where we had gaps in standard operating procedures or had questions about best practices, they were able to answer those and really help us design the platform so that we could get the most out of it and get the most out of our investment. So part of the blueprinting workshop that I think is very compelling for clients is they really like the fact that we're helping them orient them to the application in order for them to provide their final configuration to the ultimate project managers. So think of us in our role as the architect that's helping design the home, but ultimate is actually the builders, and they're the ones that are actually building based on the design. HRMS came out and spent a few days with our company blueprinting the conversion and how the, process, the implementation process was going to work and the services that HRMS was going to provide for us during that time. Part of the discovery process that we have when we get together with them is to get a better understanding of their current state and what they're doing. But they made this massive investment. They made these promises to leadership on these outcomes that they're going to deliver on. And really, in order for them to really understand how it's going to get done, they need somebody with experience that has walked through this many times. And they're relying on us to help guide them so that they don't get to the end of the project and realize that they made a massive mistake and have to go back and try to re-implement it. They took the time to come on site at the beginning of the project to really get to know us, our company, what our needs were, and how they could help us by implementing the correct things in the system to get us where we needed to be. The vast majority of clients that end up buying client-side services, that blueprinting workshop, is one of the major pillars of why. Because most of all the other implementation services are done remotely. These are done face-to-face, -face, in a room, collaboratively, so that there's transition, there's understanding, we're face-to-face, eye-to-eye, versus that you're just doing it over the phone versus a go-to-meeting. It, it's a big difference in what clients expect. So that way, like I said, when they submit their configuration to the project manager, they feel incredibly uncom comfortable about it and that you thoroughly have gone through their understanding of what they want. And, and that's where we create a lot of value in that upfront planning stage. I think as a result of the blueprinting workshop and the face-to-face -face relationship that we have together, you build this level of trust because it's still a little bit scary when you first start. And as you lead, the group through to the end, there will be times where they really lean on you and have to trust you as a consultant. And clients really rely on that from us.